today we will visualize post water traversal. Before we start, you should also be comfortable with the following concepts recursion and the call stack. Given a binary tree, a post order traversal will always process the node after it finishes traversing both its left subtree and right subtree. This type of traversal is useful for deleting a tree starting from the childrenless nodes. Here's the code for the post order traversal. Notice the process method after the left and right recursive calls. This is to ensure that the entire left subtree and right subtree has been traversed before we can process the current node. For our process function, we're going to append the value of the node to the end of the list. Let's visualize this traversal on the following tree. First, we start the traversal from the root of the tree, which is marked as 5, so we call post order 5. We push this onto our call stack. In programming, we often execute the top of the call stack, so in this case, we will evaluate post order 5. At post order 5, we recursively call its left subtree 3, so we push post order 3 into the call stack. On our next execution, we will execute post order 3 because it is on the top of the call stack. At post order 3, we continue to traverse its left subtree 2, so we push post order 2 into the call stack. At post order 2, we traverse its left subtree 1 and push post order 1 into the call stack. At post order 1, we want to traverse its left subtree, which is empty but still valid, so we push post order of none into the call stack. At post order none, we have reached our base case, so we return and pop post order none of the call stack. Now we are back at post order 1. Since we just exit its left subtree, we can now proceed to its right subtree. As usual, we push post order none into the call stack and pop it off since it will hit its base case. Now we go back to post order one and realize that we're done. So we process the value, pop post order one off the stack and move on to post order two. At post order two, we exit out of the left subtree call and move on to its right subtree, which is empty. So we push post order none into the call stack, hit the base case, pop it off and go back to post order two. At post order two, we move on to process the value and then pop it off the stack and move on to post order 3. At post order 3, we exit out of the left subtree, so we will traverse its right subtree, which is 4. So we push post order 4 into the call stack. At post order 4, we traverse the left subtree, which is empty, so we push post order none into the stack, pop it off. Then we move on to traverse the right subtree, which is also empty. We push post order none into the stack and pop it off again. We go back to post order 4 and process its value. Then we pop it off the stack and go back to post order 3. We process the value at post order 3, pop it off the stack, and move on to post order 5. At post order 5, since we just finished traversing its left subtree, we begin to traverse its right subtree 7, so we push post order 7 into the call stack. At post order 7, we traverse the left subtree, which is empty, so we push post order none into the stack, pop it off, and move on to traversing the right subtree, which is also empty, so we push post order none, and then pop it off the stack. Now we process the value at post order 7, pop it off the stack, and move back to post order 5. We have finished traversing both subtrees of post order 5, so we process its value and pop it off the stack. Since the call stack is now empty and all nodes have been traversed, our traversal is completed. If you like this video, please give a like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.